Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another City of Newcastle episode. Um, I, I want to apologise again for last episode. The microphone quality was awful. Uh, so, obviously I did that voiceover. It wasn't an incredible episode, um, which is a shame because it, it could have been a really good one, I think. But, you know, it is what it is. We move on. Um, but yeah, today's episode, the microphone's fixed. I've done, I've checked... The microphone is fine. You can hear me okay. I'm not crackly. Um, you don't know what the microphone was like in the last episode, but it was all of those things. Um, yeah, so, since last time, let's let's go have a look. So, as you already saw, we are second in the league, and these are the results that we've had so far. It's been a very good run until recently. Um, so... After the 1-1 against Hereford, we followed it up with um, a 3-1 win against AFC Rushton and Diamond. Followed that up with a 5-0 win against Hearn Bay, which was a very good result, considering they were a team that we were told to look out for. Um, Cray, it was a 1-1 it was draw. That I think they were down near the bottom. That's false. They're up near the top. Um, that might have changed since then. I'm not too sure. Um, that was only four games in. Uh, Royston, a 2-1 win, a 3-1 win against Peterborough Sports. 6-2 win against St. Neots, which is a ridiculously good result. Um, and then we hit the poor form. Hyfe come along, 0-0. Nil -nil. Uh, it's at home, so uh, we definitely could have won that game. I, think, I seem to believe that we uh, we dominated it as well, so it just wasn't to be. Chippenham come along. And the Chippenham, I believe, are right down near the bottom. They are. They're in 20th. Um, and they beat us 2-0. The second one was mainly to do with the fact that uh, we went so attacking towards the end. And as you can see, they got their second goal, as well as us getting uh, ascending off. Um, but, I mean, it just it wasn't good enough. So, yeah, we move on from that. And then most recently, Headness Ford. It was a 1-1 draw. And, I mean, that's, that's not great either, if I'm honest. Um, God, I don't know. We we need to be doing better. But today, we're against Colville and Alverchurch. Now, I'll tell you now that the, the aim that I'm looking for with recording videos is going to be kind of like and every other month kind of thing so we're now recording in october so the next video will be around end of november start of december is what we're going to aim for if there's any cup games in there we might try and focus on those as well i mean it will go like that until the end of the season um unless obviously things start to pick up then we will try and make them more regular but if it's a, a case of we're either dominating or we're just really not doing very well we'll we'll keep them to pro we're aiming for about five episodes a season which is i think is not a bad thing to be to be doing but yeah so today we've got colville away from home we've got to travel all the way there i've no idea where it is but i'm sure it's a very long distance uh, but let's go have a look at the team that's going to be facing off in this game so despite the run of recent poor form, we are sticking with this system. I've I've loaded up our diamond again, so if we need to go to the diamond, we can. I really don't want to do that, though. Uh, but yeah, this is the team that's going to be playing. Um, it's not. Pearson's out. Pearson was brought in, and Pearson looks very good. He's poor, performed awfully. He's got an average rating. You can't see it. Now you can. Average rating of the two games of a 6.55 compared to Eastham's uh, 6.9. So Eastham is 100% staying in. Um, and we've got Steele is still in. Um, he's, yeah, I might. Hmm. Do we try? Do we get Robinson in? I think I'm going to get Robinson in, you know, because Steele's not had a good run of recent form robinson could definitely do better so robinson's gonna come in uh, at the back we've got barrett who is a new signing um he's not actually played for me yet so it'd be good to see how he's gonna play um as you can see he's he's pretty damn good um his marking of seven's a little bit of a concern his height of five foot eleven is also a little bit of a concern but we'll, we'll see how he goes i'm sure he's all gonna be good we've got gambling still joe west at left back billy white is another player that's not played too much i can't get a, a really good ball winning midfielder playing none of them are playing well so i've got into my under 23s i found billy white who is a player i brought in this season um and he's gonna play he's, he's not played too badly i don't believe since um joining you know as you can see there he started off really well 
uh, with 7.3 and then most recently uh, a 6.1 so hopefully we have the the positive side of that uh we've got huntley um returning to the team again none of my midfielders are performing so we're having to move it around um i'll tell you what no we'll bring in harry vince again because harry vince is a player that we know can perform it's just whether he does or not rio dyer's um in at right wing josh foster is gonna play uh left wing because as we can see down here paul miller is injured he's got seven days to two weeks left so we might see him in the next game i don't think it's likely though and then up front we've got levi welsh i believe was playing up there in the first episode he's continuing cluid stone is going to be playing alongside him who you haven't seen yet i don't believe um yeah, he's he's not too bad. He's um he scored a lot. <laughs> I mean, let me let me show you. He's um nine appearances, six goals. Maybe you have seen him. I might I might be wrong, but you you might have. I I don't think you have though. But he's performed well. I'm really happy with him. That's the team we're going with. I just hope hope that we can get something from it. Let's get into it. So let's give the fans the performance they're expecting of us here. No one really was too bothered about that. Um, form's not been great. I wanted to show a much better performance than last time, but it didn't give me the option to. Um, but hopefully we can impress the fans and the players can impress me, more importantly. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. Okay, Hampshire for Colville um, has the ball and they've... Managed to move it forward. Key on the ball now. Conley along to Barrack. Uh, DRB forward. West manages to head it clear. And Foster is going to collect it. Can he keep it? He does. Ball down the line to Cleward Stone. Doesn't manage to get there. Although he's intercepted it. And Levi Welsh manages to score the first goal of this episode. And he's another player that's been on form. Both our strikers are performing so well at this start of the season. It's kind of everywhere else it's a bit inconsistent. Um, midfielders specifically. Um, yeah, but great start. Levi Welsh with the goal. Clear with Stone winning the ball back and getting the assist. You love to see it. Okay, West now with the corner ball. Gamblin manages to get it, but apparently there's been a handball in there. Thompson's been penalised. I don't know if he, he has got a, a, a yellow card for it. And it's going to be Harry Vince that steps up. Not great form recently, but he puts away the penalty to double our advantage against Colville. 2-0. More of that. I need to record more videos. We keep we say it every season. We perform better when I'm recording. And still, I play massive chunks without it. Um, yeah, oh, right, okay. We've got another highlight because I've not shut up. West <laughs> has a free kick in the defensive third. Um, plays it forward. Foster's on the ball now. He's a, a player that I brought... I've not even shown you, Foster. Oh, my God. Josh Foster, everybody. Um, <laughs> uh, basically, what I did was I looked for some free agents, looked at their previous club to search for all the Premier League clubs to see if you know they'd released any youngsters because I couldn't find any of a better way to do it. If you know of any better ways to find youngsters that have left big clubs... Please let me know because I can't find a decent way. Um, but Josh Foster's been brought in. Irish um, can play anywhere along the front, really. Um, we've got him playing in this role. He's definitely better at crossing than he is finishing, but only by one attribute. Um, he's okay. He's not amazing. He's on quite a lot of money, but I feel like he is definitely someone that can improve. Um, yeah, should we get back into the game now that I've actually introduced you to our new signing? Okay, so the corner ball now. We're finally going to see it from West. Headed away from Berwick. Uh, Conley's on the ball now. Can we close him down? He's got a player coming towards him. Foster dives in and gives them the free kick. I was really worried that that was going to be a red card then. West gets another corner. And Lucas Gamblin, you love to see it, manages to get the ball in the back of the net from a West uh, corner ball. I was going to say free kick. Um, tell you what. Great start. Um, I don't know where... I didn't check where Colville were in the division, but I can't imagine they're too high up. I mean, let's have a look now. They are down near the bottom. They're 18th. But we lost to the team that was in 20th. So that means nothing. Dyer is injured. It says he can play through it. I don't know if I want him to. Um, we're going to bring on... You can't see this, but we're going to bring on Eric. Um, Eric's going to come on. Eric's been kind of inconsistent he's he either has, has an amazing game or a really poor one um that is now half time 
uh Eric, yeah eric's on the pitch um hopefully we can we can get a good performance out of him i'm telling the boys i'm very pleased with the performance so far keep it going because it's been great so far and i really hope it carries on um yeah fingers crossed for more there's a, <laughs> a highlight straight away thompson the man who gave us the penalty puts the ball into the box and wilson rich wilson is on the end of it to finish away the charge to cut our deficit to just two goals rather than the three that we had before um hopefully this isn't a sign of things to come it's a good i mean it's a good ball into the box um who's this barrett should do better um i mean easton probably could have done better as well but i'm saying we'll calm down it's not the end of the world okay wilson now this could be the end of the world Barrett, he's on the end of it and he does manage to put the, manage to put the ball in the back of the net we're gonna go defensive um i'm going to demand more i don't really know what else we can do because as as always we start well at the start of the game and then suddenly teams just get back into it and come back at us and that is exactly what's happened for uh four this is exactly what's happened here and i really hope that's not going to be completed with this comeback um warren's on the ball now for colville um can we just get the ball back and just score a goal you know double our advantage again back back to the two goals rather than just the one i really don't like this wilson's through wilson scores we've just collapsed what on earth is going on something is not right we're going positive because i am not having this i'm not having this this is ridiculous this is unacceptable we need to be doing better They've got another one. If they win this game, Easton with a great save. That's a really good save. I'm going to fire the boys up. We, we, I can't believe that this has happened. Foster forward to White. White goes out to Eric. What can Eric do? I mean, like I said before, it's over everything or nothing. Robinson on the ball. Ball into the box towards Foster. Doesn't get it. Out to Harry Vince. And, right, okay, we still got the ball. Is this the end or are we still going? Easton's on it now. It looks like this is not the end of the highlight. Do not lose the ball here. Barrett forward to Stone. Flicks the ball on to Levi Welsh. And Levi Welsh finishes the chance to give us our lead back. And hopefully this time, we're going to go back to balance. But hopefully this time, we can actually hold on to the lead. I don't know what happened there. We just self-combusted. And yeah, but Levi Welsh with his seventh goal of the season puts us back in front. Hopefully we can hold on to that. Um, we are currently top of the league, as you can see. Uh, Kettering are drawing at the moment, who are the, our nearest rivals. Um, there's another highlight. I don't know if I can deal with this. I really want to shut up shop, but last time I did that, we ended up uh, conceding a, another goal. Um, we got the ball back and then gave it away again. Wilson, who's in really good form, is on it again. Has a shot on goal. Straight at the keeper. It's fine. Can we just hold on for these last 12 minutes? I really, really hope so. Okay, we have three minutes of added time. We're in the 89th minute. We've got a highlight. And is this going to be a chance for us? Or is this going to be a chance for Colville to... I don't like this. Okay. Is this a chance for us? Ball forward to Levi Welsh. This is for the hat trick. <laughs> Levi Welsh finishes the chance. We combusted... We we brought it back. It's it's now five three. We're fine. Never any doubt. We were absolutely fine. We've never concerned about this whatsoever. So, as I said in the last video, our attack is not the problem. Our defence, on the other hand, is a little bit leaky. Yeah, five three. I mean, what a start to this episode. I mean, I'm going to tell them I'm happy with the performance because, I mean, we did two quite well to score five goals, but conceding three is just a little bit concerning. Um, I don't really know what we can do because, I mean, Gambling and West performed quite well. It was Robinson and Barrett that didn't. So, you know, is this something really that... I don't know. Or, you know, could it just been a little bit of bad luck? I'm not sure. Results then. Kettering drew against the 10 men of Cray, uh, which puts us back on top of the table. 
You love to see it. Um, obviously, I told you in the last episode that we were predicted the top. In my voiceover, I told you that uh, we're actually now predicted to finish um, second. I'll show you that now. And if it's changed, then, well, I can only apologize. So it has changed. We're not predicted to finish second anymore. We're now predicted to finish third. So, yeah. Okay. So now, top in the league as an expectation isn't looking as realistic. But what it does suggest is that the teams are really close together and we could easily win it just as much as we could easily only just make the playoffs. But we are top at the moment. It's not a bad place to be in. Let's continue the run. Let's get into the next game and hopefully get another three points. Okay, so... <laughs> Arch rival self Shields have this player. Now... I know what you're thinking. We've made signings like this before where they just don't... They look quite good and they don't appear it when they come in. I just think he'd be really good. So I'm going to do it. I'm really sorry if he is awful. Um, it's here... In video evidence that I made this signing. So I can't just get rid of him and say it was nothing. He's on a lot of money. He's our highest paid player. Uh, I mean, give me a second and I'll show you how he looks. So, is he good? Yes. Is he incredible? I don't know. I feel like he's got all the stats in the areas we need them in. But it's really just down to his performances as to whether he really is worth it. He's come from uh, Newcastle United. He's only just left their academy. So they've kept him for so long. So they must have seen something in him. I think he's around about a Vanarama North South level. Um, okay, it's, it's saying he's, a, he's, a, he's the same level as us. But he's got potential to be North South. Uh, that isn't what I was told when I scouted him. I was told that he he was already North South level. And he could be he had the potential to be... Valorama National League, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Lucas uh, De Bol is in. Yeah, I mean, I'll start him in the next game. Let's see how he does. I've made a mistake, everybody. The mistake isn't bringing this guy in because, as you can see, he's very, very good. The mistake <laughs> is the fact that. He failed to get a work permit. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how work permits work in, at this level. So. Yeah, I'm not sure, but he he would have been really good. <laughs> he he really would have. Okay. Well. Yeah. My bad. So, I take that back. Looking at this, he's got settled status until the 1st of January next year. But, yeah. So he can play. So I take the apology back. Although, you know, in just, what, <laughs> three months, he won't be able to play. But for now, he can. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the team that's going to be facing off against Alve Church today. Um, not many change, well, one change. Um, De Bol is in uh, for Josh Foster, who, to be fair, is a bit... You can't see it. Um, I'm trying to show you. There we go. Um, he, he's had taken a fitness test, and he, he should be fine. So is Rio, but we'll ignore that. Um, so, yeah, he's going to play as an inverted winger on, on the left. He can, again... He can cross better than he can finish. So that just makes sense. Um, other than that, uh, we've got obviously Amir on the bench. Now that we know that he can play if we need him to. He might end up coming on. I'm noticing Connor Barrett had a 6.5 in the last game. He's coming on. He's, he's starting. We're doing it. We're going for it. Let's just go into it. It's fine. There's nothing to worry about. I'm just making last minute changes as I always do. Okay, so I'm telling him to go out there and carry straight on from the last game. Goal scoring wise, not not defending wise. Don't want more of that defending and that implosion, self 
combustion and they've got a chance. It wouldn't be combustion if they scored first, I guess. Um, maybe in terms of the form it would. But the ball's through to Levi Welsh and it's through to Stone. And Stone ships the keeper and it's the crossbar. It's it's just what we wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. Kettering's ahead. Kettering are now ahead of us. Robinson with a long throw. Towards Welsh, and it comes off the crossbar. I don't know if I can deal with this. Two shots to, that we've seen. Two hits off the crossbar. West now has a corner ball. Towards Gambling, and it's cleared away. Dyer. I'll tell you what, I'm complaining, but it means that we're on top for the first part of the game, and I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, so it is a throw in for Alf Church into the box. Amir heads it away. Um, but Alf Church get it back. Jones forward to Rahman, forward to Mills, and that's a great save from Eastham. Honestly, I'm getting season one, maybe not season one, season two Greater X vibes from him. I mean, season one, you know, didn't help us uh, from getting relegated. So, yeah, I guess the, those vibes aren't too great. Um, but Alf Church do have another chance, and Taylor's on the edge of the. Box and Mills, Taylor, by the way, has a great name. That's wonderful. Really like that. <laughs> but it was, it was a shot over the bar. And we've got... Well, we're seeing the, the goal kick straight away. Welsh is on the ball now. Uh, into the box towards Stone. And Brook is... Yeah. Keeping the minute, really. Is Kettering double their lead. Uh, ball into the box. West puts it back into the box. Again, West... And that's um, that's it. We've got another long throw from Robinson, though. Loads of highlights. It's a very even game so far. I'm noticing that we're both getting loads of shots and shots. on Well, not very many shots on target, but we're getting loads of shots um, as Alf Church managed to win the ball back. Go play forward, but only as far as one of our players and the ball. I mean, it's just moving around so fast. It's really difficult to keep up with. But Cleward Stone gets on the end of it and finishes for his seventh goal of the season. It was a long ball forward from Jones, which Gamblin just managed to, to get. And as a ball forward, Welsh just lays it off to Stone after the defender misses the header. And Stone puts it in the back of the net. Beautiful goal. Okay, West now with a... Not a free kick. I keep wanting to call them free kicks. It's a corner kick. I do know get the game of football. But it's a long ball forward to Jenkins. Uh, what can he do with it? He plays it back to Taylor. Again, great name. Um, plays it back to Jones. Over the top towards Jenkins. I think that there's a hint of offside there. Um, it's not been given, though. Uh, Jones now in the midfield. Forward to Anderson. Jones again. Forward to Anderson. Across to Jenkins. And Jenkins equalises. It's going to be one of those games, I think. It's going to be back-to-back -back and just... End-to-end -end was what I was looking for. Not back-to-back. End-to-end. Oh, I need some sleep. Okay, West now with a corner kick. I was going to call it a free kick again. I'm... Yeah, okay. Um, gambling into the box. Dyer. Can he play that down to DeBole? DeBole across to Welsh. And the ball should have shot himself, but he was in a perfect position. I don't, I don't, kind of don't blame him for passing it to the striker, but at the same time, then why don't you have a go yourself? West on the ball now, White. We've got another chance over the top to Welsh. I think it's offside, it is. It's a really good ball over the top. It's a really good finish. The run just was not quite what we wanted. Um, yeah, I mean, it's no, it's not marginal. It's very clearly offside. Okay, so half time and it's it's one one. It's a draw so far. Okay, I'm telling them I'm not happy. Cluid Cl Stone isn't happy. Um, can I just pick him? I want to tell what not what I meant. Um, I can, can't I? Individuals. Cluid Stone, very happy with your performance so far. Keep it up. Um, and everyone else, yeah, not happy. West though, straight from the the kickoff of the second half. West puts it back into the box towards Vince, and Vince heads it out. At the goal, uh, but straight at the keeper. And Brooke claims it comfortably. Um, we're still seeing Brooke with the ball. Plays the ball over the top to Mills. And Mills is through. Eastham claims it. We know that we can be a little bit punishable from those sort of positions. And Eastham's trying to get straight back. Well, Welsh through. Clifford Stone. He's gone for another dink. Was it Stone that did it the first time? Or was it Welsh? I can't remember. But it's, it's either way, it's missed. Jones now. Vince. 
manages to clear it, or not, well, not clear it, gain the possession for us. Put to Welsh Dyer on the ball now, cleared away from, by O'Brien, but we still got the ball. We're playing it backwards. Why are we playing it backwards? White, what are you doing? Vince Dyer. I mean, we've still got the ball. I don't know how. Big ball forward and the keeper. <laughs> the keeper's just missed it. Ke <laughs> I don't know what he's done there. Welcome to non-league, everybody. I've not seen this since starting, I don't think. It's a really good ball forward from White, to be fair. Uh, look at the curl on it. And the keeper just comes out and just lets it pass him. And Welsh manages to finish it to give us our lead back. And can I just say, our XG is very high. I don't know how much we got from, from just that shot. But a 2.36 a 2 isn't too bad. We've got another corner ball. And I'm calling it the right name this time. White um, is going to collect it after it was cleared by the Alf Church defenders. However, we've given it away. Jenkins is through. And that, who are you? Gambling. What a tackle. That was beautiful. I mean, what a player. <laughs> okay, goal kick now for Alf Church. Brooks on the ball. Plays it forward. And Robinson gets his head on it. Stone plays the ball through to Welsh. And could Welsh score again? He can't. Um, it's saved by Brooke. It's a good save. Um, and we've got ourselves another corner ball. West on it. Puts the ball into the box. Headed away by Hill. West um, it gets it, though. And it's headed away again. And I tell you what. I feel like we're starting to take control of this game. I'm quite happy with it as it is. De Bol actually, is looking quite tired. So I'm going to make that change. And bring on... Yeah, I'll bring on Josh Foster. Because um, he's kind of the only player that can play there. Um, Alf Church have the ball. And it looks like they, this could be a chance for them. As I've literally just a few seconds ago said that I felt like we were in control of the game. We've um, we've given away um, another goal. I, I stand by what I said. Our defence is leaky. And our new striker. Striker, centre-back, same thing. Our new centre-back is also having a 6.5 after I just slated our last one for doing it. Uh, yes, we will proceed with the tactical changes. We're going to go positive. Um, I'm going to fire them up. We need to go out there and get ourselves another goal as Alf Church have another chance. And Alf Church score. Self-combusting again. I can't believe this. Okay, atta attacking. I mean, I don't know what else we can do. What can we do? We're, you know, we've got individuals that are playing quite well. Um, I think what we do... Is we bring on Finley Clift. But who do we bring him on for? Is the question. Or. Different idea. Foster up front. As a. Advance forward. We'll go advance forward. And then we'll bring on Eric. For Dyer. And Eric can play behind the striker. Um, yeah. We're going to go with that. Yep. As if at this point we're hoping for a point and we've not got it. We've come self combusted again. Albeit, this was a team that, you know, did quite well. Um, I mean, we beat them in the XG battle, only just, but I can't believe that. I'm genuinely so disappointed. Oh, it is what it is, isn't it? That wasn't good enough, I'm afraid. Yeah, and then I'm disappointed just to stop um, West from being whatever he was. I can't remember. He was anxious, I think. Um, we've made him motivated now, but I'm, I can't believe it. Cannot believe it. And that result puts us back to second. It's definitely going to be a, a race this season, um, and we've got quite a few teams in it. Um, well, I mean, right now, you'd probably say... I mean, no, you could go down to probably 6th and 7th maybe to say they're in the title race. They're only five points off the top. Uh, one of them having a game in hand um, and can actually overtake us with a win. So we could be down to third if they win this game. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the end of this episode. Um, I'm going to go play some games and um, hopefully get some more results. Um, but yeah, until next time, do leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And until next time, I'll see you later.